Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another QMK video. So in this one what I want to talk about is basically the mouse buttons or yeah mouse keys or whatever. So normally what you would do is you would enable this uh, mouse key enable set that to yes to use the like left click right click and then the buttons and so on. That works pretty well, but the problem with that is this library is, or this uh, function or whatever, is quite big. So it takes up a good bit of your former size. So if you have like a fairly complex layout, you might get into trouble there basically. <laughs> so this video is about basically using a much lighter weight, uh, lighter as in like size library for mouse keys. So yeah, the, the thing that we're going to use is this pointing device enable. So this is much smaller than the mouse keys and it is a little bit more tricky to use, but aims to be easily modifiable and lightweight. And then this is true because um, you can do a lot of stuff with this basically. But the main reason I kind of went with it is because it's a lot lighter and my um, former size it's like almost 100% so <laughs> this is how you control it and then you can also set like the buttons and whatnot now in my case I only need to use the mouse for scrolling because um, the scroll wheel on my actual mouse <laughs> isn't very good so I prefer to use the keyboard scrolling so as you can see here now I'm using the keyboard to scroll and what I'm using for this is combos. So if we search for combos, there it is. So yeah, this is pretty cool. I'll quickly show you how to set up combos after I show you how to actually do the mouse scrolling. So after you enabled this, uh, what you wanna do is wherever you have, in my case, I have these two booleans here so mouse wheels up on and then mouse wheel down on so basically once the key is held down this will be true and then once the scroll key is released this will be false and then same thing for like scrolling down so to set them up i set them up inside my combos and so yeah here it is so just combo scroll up and then just set them accordingly here. So if keys pressed, that's true. And if keys released, that's false. So if you're using macros for this or custom key codes, um, it's pretty much the same thing. So I'll just scroll down here um, just to give you an idea. Okay, I don't really have a good example. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, there we go. So yeah, record when pressed. So you would set it to true here. And then if it's not pressed, that means you release the key, you would set it to false here. And so, yeah. And then what you want to do is you want to go into your um, matrix scan user function. Uh, if you don't have this already, just create it. Uh, this is basically a user hook. It hooks into the more, the actual deeper functions of QMK. And you also need to have like a scroll timer, but I'll explain that in a second. So then towards the end of your matrix scan, I just have this here, this if statement. So this is all what does the scrolling. So basically, if the if I'm scrolling up, well, if I'm holding down the scrolling up key or I'm holding down the scrolling down key, what we want to do is we want to check if our timer is uh, greater than 100 milliseconds. So basically, we want to scroll every 100 milliseconds because otherwise it's too fast. And I'll I'll talk about how the timer works in a second. So then what you want to do is you want to create a mouse report or pointing device report. 
So use this uh, special uh, structure and then call this function here. You also need to import uh, pointing device.h or include I mean um, to use this function basically and to use all these other functions as well so then this uh, v here so after we get the report we can change it and this v if I go back to here uh, oh yeah pointing device yeah so where is this yeah so this v is basically representing vertical scrolling if it's positive number it is scrolling up and if it's negative it is scrolling down um so you can set the scroll block kind of to be high but if you want smooth scrolling set it to one uh, you can set it to like 0 0.5 or whatever because it's a signed integer it's not a float and so if you want to move or if you want to scroll uh, horizontally you can use h and if you want to move the actual mouse cursor you can use x so basically the same principle and so yeah that's how that works so for example here if i am scrolling up um i set this to one and if i'm not scrolling up I set it to zero because if I'm not scrolling up, I have to be scrolling down since um, there's only two conditions that allow you to get inside this if statement. And so then I update the current report with this current report, and then you send the current report. So this just sends the uh, pointing device thing. So yeah, that's how that works. And so yeah, every 100 milliseconds, uh, this pointing, the keyboard will basically tell the computer like to scroll up once every 100 milliseconds. And it looks kind of smooth. So if I scroll up now, okay, it was a little bit glitchy there, but that's probably because I'm recording. But yeah, it's like fairly smooth, you know, it's usable. And then this way, uh, if you really wanted to, you can have this as a variable and then with other like macros or whatever, you can decrease or increase the variable so you can have like higher or slower scrolling speed. I might actually do that later on. Uh, so like increment or decrement this by 10 each time or whatever. I'll see how it is. But for me, um, like this scrolling speed is fine. <laughs> if I... Uh, if I want to like, for example, scroll really fast all the way to the top, I just type GG and then the Vim um, <laughs> kicks in basically. So yeah, um, so yeah, I only really need this kind of scrolling. So uh, yeah, all right, so now the timer. So I just set it up inside here uh, as an external UN16. And then to start the timer, you would want to start it in um, yeah, you'd want to start it in this hook. So keyboard post in a user. So this is when the keyboard like starts up basically. And so you wanna like set the timer here, and then. And so here you want to get the timer elapsed. So you just call this function and then this checks if a hundred milliseconds have elapsed from the time that we called this timer or from the time we set this timer here. So, and if it did, then we want to create a mouse report. And then at the end of creating a mouse report, we want to reset the timer. So we just call this function timer.read. And so, yeah, this will set this to, let's say, zero or whatever. <laughs> but yeah, um, so yeah, that's handy. That's kind of how the timer works. That's how like you would get it exactly. 
because you could do like uh, how I had it before so before I used to have my timers like like an actual integer here so counting that up or okay whatever uh, yeah it doesn't matter I just have it like a normal integer before and that works fine but then it's like if you have um, some function that's taking up more time than others it's not really accurate so sometimes this could decrease after say 50 milliseconds another time it could decrease after 80 milliseconds so it's very not accurate whereas with this it makes sure that it's like at least 100 milliseconds well it could be more here it could be like i don't know 110 maybe but you know that's not too bad all right so that's how you you could minimize your um firmware size if you are using mouse keys <laughs> so yeah uh, thanks for watching and bye bye